So I've decided to let this uh, guitar project of mine go. I'm uh, feeling a bit more resistance from this project than I uh, appreciate, so um, I'll uh, hand it over to someone new that could maybe uh, do a better job than me on this. But that said, it's absolutely playable and it's a good guitar to play. It action is fabulous now on the guitar and uh, it even sounds good, at least on the bridge pickup and uh, in the middle position. If you mix the, the right mix here with tone controls for the, the bridge and the neck, you'll get a very decent sound. Neck pickup by itself, it's good for jazz. <laughs> I think it's a bit too um, yeah, woolly. Woolly is a good word. It also depends on how you set your amp. If you have an amp like me with an equalizer that you can dial in less uh, low end and um, up the treble, it will sound perfectly fine. I have to say that I have replaced the pickups. Again, I, I had burst buckers one and two in here at first. I pulled them out of here and I discovered one major thing with this guitar that I thought, ah, I've found the culprit of why this is sounding so woolly. And that was that the routings for the humbuckers were really off. So they were too much to this side here so that the strings and the pole pieces, they didn't align. The strings were to the sides of the pole piece screws. So what I did was to carve out some more wood in the cavities here for the pickups to be able to push them a bit more that way. I also had to move this pickup uh, along with the pickups, of course, so it's, it's not quite touching the neck any longer. I'm not sure it's probably supposed to do that, but uh, it's minor detail. The thing is that there is a small hole here now, so you can see that um, you can almost look into the cavities there. Well, it doesn't bother me that much. It's just part of the aesthetics of the guitar. It's a rock and roll guitar. So these pickups, they are classic 57s and I bought them from eBay many years ago and they came with gold pickup covers and the screws, pole piece screws also wasn't gold, but I sanded them down so they are not showing uh, that much gold any longer. I replaced all of the electronics. I, I switched to new pots, 500k for both tone and uh, volume. And uh, I also tried to just disconnect the tone altogether. So I went straight out to see if that was uh, making a difference with the tone to make it less woolly. I couldn't sense any difference in the tone. So they are back connected back again. So there's something with this that I, I, I can't really figure out. But I will play it now so you can listen to the tones and you can uh, make up your own opinion. But to me it's still a bit too woolly, at least on the neck pickup. I'm uh, putting this out for sale now so uh, somebody else can have a go at this guitar. Or just have it as it is because it is a great guitar, it plays well. There is some things with the frets I have to say. Uh, there are still some overtones going on here so they need a bit tending to the frets, but I guess that's a minor job for somebody who knows what to do with them.
think you can hear it most here when I play it just with the chords. So playing it now, I get this feeling that I really sure you want to sell it because it is it's very comfy to play and uh, you can get some very decent tones out of it. So I guess if I put some more effort into making this, finding out how to get the tones that I like from it, experimenting more with pickups or working a bit more on the frets to have it perfect, I would probably think that this is a great guitar. Also the thing with the weight, it's quite heavy. It's uh, Les Paul and there's no weight relief in this one. So it's around 4.3 kilos. And that is also something that is, is bothering me a bit, but it's quite a normal uh, weight for a Les Paul, of course. Okay, I'll leave it at that and um, put it out for sale now. So I've decided now, I'll let it go, <laughs> okay. Little updates. I put this uh, ad out of this guitar now uh, for sale. And uh, I think five to 10 minutes after it was published, a nice guy responded to the ad and uh, wanted to buy it. Probably the quickest sale I've done ever. <laughs> so this is goodbye to this guitar. And he wanted to have the guitar without hardware or electronics. So just stripped like I got it, just the wood the body and the neck. They're in one piece anyways. But um, So that's what I'll send. And uh, as I don't have a hard case, I will have to um, pack it in a transportation cardboard uh, box. And I'll try to uh, wrap as much as I can around the guitar to protect this. Fingers crossed that it will be okay. And that he will be uh, happy with the uh, guitar project. New projects are awaiting, I'm sure, but I guess there is some learning in this. And my next project will hopefully have a better outcome for me than this had. We will see what comes next. So I, I now have a lot of hardware and electronics that I have to use in a different project, of course. So I'll go looking straight away. Bye for now.